It's hard to beat a great dress in summer and there are some dress trends that you can wear right through to fall. So if you would like to see the top dress trends that you can love all year round, then just keep watching. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, I absolutely love dresses. I love the idea of that one and done. You don't have to think about your outfits and what you're going to team with what. It's just put it on and go. It's really simple. So I today thought that I would wear one of my new favorite dresses from an Australian label called De Cuba. I will link it in the description box below. But I wore this dress to an event recently. I felt super comfy because it's a stretchy lace and got so many lovely comments about it. So I thought it's high time that I focused a entire video on some of the key dress trends and especially the dresses that you can wear for more than one season. Now first up and this is the most contentious trend of all and that is dresses worn over pants and I know that this is going to divide some of you but it's absolutely on trend and it's also the easiest way to get lots of mileage and extra wear out of some of your summer dresses and if you're feeling like you've already seen this trend or even wore this trend many years ago and it's not for you then maybe have another look at it. Obviously, when trends come back into fashion, they are always a little bit different to how they once were. So there are some styling options and styling ways that perhaps we didn't see first time around. And as I said, when it comes to styling some of these dresses over pants, it does give you that versatility with them. So what I am seeing is some of the crocheted style dresses that are very much trending at the moment, worn back with some of the wide leg trousers. And also this gives you the opportunity if some of the dresses that you want to wear into the cooler months are a little bit short, it does make them a much easier option to wear as the weather gets cooler. So all I'm saying with this one and the reason that I started with this one first up is to hopefully encourage you not to completely rule this trend out because as I said it is the easiest way to get more mileage out of some of the dresses that you already own and love. Now next up there seems to be a real return to striped shirt dresses. Now shirt dresses have definitely been having a moment for the last couple of seasons and a good shirt dress is just a real wardrobe staple for most of us and I think that they often don't get the fanfare that they deserve and certainly Certainly this season it seems to be more of a striped style shirt dress that is happening. Now the great thing about a good shirt dress is that you can wear it as a dress, you can also wear it open with perhaps tied at the back to give it a little bit of shape so you've got that extra layer. It's almost like a sort of duster coat that can be created out of a shirt dress as well as just wearing it on its own as a dress. It's a piece that's really easy to style and the fact that they're on trend now just simply means that there are more options available. So definitely take a look at some of the cool striped shirt dresses. If stripes are not for you, there are plenty that aren't, uh, aren't striped as well. But if you are looking for the most versatile dress, then a shirt dress is definitely the way to go. And at this point, I'd just like to say a really big thank you to the team at Casetify for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, I've recently upgraded my phone and splashed out and bought myself an iPhone 15. Yeah! So I needed to upgrade my phone cases and I thought why not get a couple of cool new straps to match. Now I only ever use Casetify cases, they are great quality. This one is actually made from recycled cases and they also have the most amazing selection of colors and styles and designs. So I wanted to share some of the straps that I picked up as well. So first up I decided to pick up this gorgeous leather, a simple leather strap mostly to kind of go with this phone case but I actually have a black leather strap that I tend to use all the time so I thought it might be super handy to have a neutral to go with some of my lighter outfits so I've got this I also picked up a super cool rope strap with gorgeous gold hardware this one was to go with hang on let me just pop my phone in this other case so I can show you so this is my other case and this is how it looks with the black rope strap which I love. I've been using this kind of as an everyday strap. It's great for going to the gym, it's super lightweight, it's just casual looking. So this strap is a real goodie. I also picked up the silver chain strap and I just think that the 
Chains are really great for kind of an evening look or something a little bit more special or a party kind of look. You can also easily adjust where the phone falls and how long the chain is. This one's got a super cute little heart. You push the inside of the heart and then you can pull the, the chain through. So it makes, makes it easy to change the length up. I also have a discount to share with you and that is to save 10%. So all you need to do is whip on over to casetify.com forward slash the style insider. And I will leave that link in the description box below to make it easy for you as well. But if you are needing to update your straps or even just try one for the first time, then definitely take advantage of this offer. It's a limited time offer, so get in quick before it ends. One of my all-time favorite dresses is a beautiful tiered maxi dress, and I'm definitely seeing tiers as being a key styling element of a number of the on-trend dresses at the moment. There's been a real sort of return to whimsical, pretty feminine dresses, and as I said, I have a tiered maxi dress. I'll try and find a photo of it to flick up here. It's one of those dresses that I'll just wear forever and keep in my wardrobe forever because it's just a classic. It's nothing too over the top, but it's something that I can bring out all the time and enjoy wearing it and just change up my shoes. But the tiered dresses that I'm seeing, there's sort of something for everyone from maxis to middies to even shorter, almost baby doll style dresses. But certainly these tiered styles are, in my opinion, really fun, floaty, feminine, and also really easy to wear styled back over pants if you're brave enough. And a great thing about some of these shorter styles is that they look equally at home paired back with a simple pair of sandals as they do worn back with some cowboy boots. So you've got those different options in terms of styling to create a different look as well. And I couldn't put a video like this together without also mentioning denim dresses. Now, denim dresses were very much front, front and center on the spring summer runway shows. And that's definitely filtered through to high street fashion stores as well. And the great thing about a denim dress is that it is a timeless option. Denim just doesn't really go out of fashion. If you pull out a denim dress from five years ago, it's still going to work today. I know that sounds like a big statement, but it is still going to work today. So there's lots of denim dresses on offer from middies, maxis, shirt style denim dresses. There really is something for everyone. I've also seen quite a few strapless denim dresses on offer as well. And again, if this is a look that you like, you can always team it with a little cardigan over the top just to cover your arms. There are options for styling these denim dresses. And of course, styling denim dresses and coming up with shoe combinations is super easy because whatever shoes you wear, is going to work back with a denim dress. So it definitely makes styling really easy too. Now I talked recently in a video about sheer skirts. Now sheer skirts aren't the only look that's happening. So there are lots and lots of sheer dresses around. Now I'm sure you've seen some of the crocheted styles and some of the knitted style of sheer dresses. There's also lace, like the lace dress that I'm wearing today, which actually I should mention is not overly sheer but certainly what I do is I wear a little slip underneath so you can in certain lights see the silhouette of my legs peeking through but it's not so sheer that it's ab absolutely transparent so don't get too scared when you're thinking about sheer dresses because they don't always have to be completely see-through but there are lots of sheer dresses around again it requires a little bit more work in terms of layering, obviously layering pieces underneath or over the top. But like the sheer skirts, there's a real sort of trend towards pairing them with a longer, say, sweatshirt or an oversized boyfriend style shirt. So there are options when it comes to these sheer dresses. They're a great layering piece. They do require a little bit extra work, but it is definitely worth it. Now, one of the biggest color trends for summer has certainly been the color red, and it's no surprise that red dresses are having a moment right now, and that will continue through to the rest of the year as well. So if you have picked up a summery red dress, there are gonna be ways that you can style that and make that work into the fall as well. So when it comes to styling red dresses, definitely think about pairing it back with neutrals, whether it be tan sandals, or trainers or white. I always do tend to say, be really careful with pairing 
like a bright color back with black it does tend to kind of just create a a really harsh break where one color meets the other and it just does tend to I think the black seems to just kill the the vibrancy of the color but there are definitely other options that you can team your red dresses with certainly a denim jacket denim jeans there are options there but certainly if I had to look at one particular trending color dress that is going to be happening certainly through to the end of the year and that is the color red now this isn't a trend that I'll be wearing as such but I know a lot of people will be loving this one and it's a baby doll style dress and in particular with sort of puffy flouncy hemlines as well so we know that the puffy hems have been very much a happening thing so expect to see those filtering through into these really sort of feminine mini style baby doll dresses and again these dresses make it really easy to layer over pants I talked in a recent video about skinny jeans having a moment so a cute little baby doll dress layered over a pair of skinny jeans is going Going to look beautiful but there are options there as well so certainly if this is a style that suits you and you love it then there are going to be plenty of fun baby doll style dresses around now I'd say the most glamorous dress trend that we'll be seeing this year is anything that has a little bit of fringing detail on it now there seems to be a huge array of choice when it comes to fringing with some of the dresses completely covered in fringe and others just with a tiny detail I'm a bit of a late bloomer when it comes to fringing but I've definitely of late seen myself being more drawn to fringe dresses and just fringe detailing on outfits I think it's a really easy way to add a kind of a glamorous old Hollywood style to an outfit so definitely there are some options here for these beautiful fringe dresses which I totally feel also that you would be able to own these and pull them out in years to come because they are something that is not going to date so fringing is here let me know what you guys think about it do you like the idea of fringe fringe dresses do you think that they're too sort of flapper-esque um, what do you think about them yeah as I said I'm new to enjoying them and loving them so love to hear what you think now this one is a little bit of a smaller trend but I do see it creeping in more and more and I like it because it lends itself to the whole idea of illusion dressing and that is color blocked dresses so dresses that almost look like you are wearing an outfit because they're color blocked either cutting you at the waistline to create the illusion of a smaller higher waist or potentially they have strips of fabric down the side to give the illusion of length and leanness they're also just a fun way of giving kind of a nod to that mod style of dresses I'm probably not explaining them very well so hopefully I've got some images here to show you exactly what I'm talking about but I do as I said like the idea of this color blocking because it does give you that ability to flatter your figure with the illusion of where those colors and where those blocks of color are placed and one of the biggest dress trends this season has definitely been channeling our inner goddesses with Grecian style draping there's also been a real variety with some dresses having lots of kind of overblown draping details and others where the draping detail is fairly minimal so I love the fact that there kind of is something here for everyone in terms of how much you really want to buy into this particular style I love draped styling on dresses though because it does give you again that ability to create some illusion and create shapes in your body which perhaps are not actually there naturally so draping can be a really feminine and easy way to create more of a visual silhouette that you would like to create that perhaps you don't naturally have but these dresses I think are really feminine they're floaty and easy to wear now I didn't want to run out of time with this video but I also wanted to give a bit of an honorary mention to tank dresses so just a simple tank top but in a dress and also crocheted styles because 
I touched on crochet earlier in the video but I yeah didn't want to run out of time and I kind of feel like I've talked a lot for this one but I do think that these two styles of dresses are very much happening at the moment as well both are great both are easy to layer as the weather gets colder and team with a longer line coat and jacket so they're really good layering options perfect for packing for traveling but they're definitely worth a mention because they're two styles that are very much happening as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to take advantage of that Casetify discount code. As I said earlier, the link is in the description box below, but it's a very good deal and those straps are awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you real soon in the next one. Bye for now.